precise movements, lads. Shoulder, follow. Poise, follow. Shoulder, follow. Charge, bend it. Shoulder, follow. The army looks to be in good order, and the army is spoiling for another go with the redcoats. Charge! Bang it! In the early years, the men resembled a rabble, a flock of scared sheep. Men have been recently recruited, and they're about to meet the Redcoats for the first time. I think most of the men, to be honest, are frightened. The officers have hardly ever drilled the men, and now they're to face the, the British infantry, masters of the bayonet. The men have a sense of the folly. These men are more familiar with the scythe than the sword or bayonet. And these men lack the professionalism of the British soldiers. Come low! Discipline these men. That day will come. The army survived the dark year of 1776, mostly through the small victory of the Battle of Trenton. Throughout 1777, the army became seasoned fighters, battles of Brandywine and Germantown, slugging it out with the British regulars. Then went to Valley Forge that winter into 1778. By the next planting months, the Continentals came out with the unified training and resolve of professional soldiers. The Battle of Monmouth brought this army a clear tactical victory, as the British would quit the field. But the eyes of Washington's veterans were on the defenses around New York. They were not strong enough to attack that city, but trained and further trained waited for the moment. When an opportunity arose to attack smaller outposts, 
Continentals would prove their mettle. Make sure your weapons are clean, Boy. accoutrements in order, Barla. drilling to be done by squads, the Prussian exercise. Barla. Take aim. Fire. In 1778, Baron von Steuben was appointed the new Inspector General Man. of the Continental Army. Barla. Now, von Steuben came to the Army with the idea that the Prussian exercises was the, the best form of, of being a soldier. Now, he understood that Americans were not professional European soldiers. So Baron von Steuben had to take a gentle approach teaching the men and teach the officers to be more patient and understanding to how these soldiers from America would learn and become professional soldiers in the European sense. It sounds complicated, but the von Steuben system actually worked. Thanks to von Steuben's new doctrine and disciplines, both officers and men took on the pride of professional soldiers. Section to the front! The officers and non-commissioned officers of each regiment are to be perfectly acquainted with the manual exercises, marchings and firings, that they have been able to instruct their soldiers when necessary, they must also be acquainted with the dress, discipline, and police of the troops, and with everything that relates to the service. It being on the non-commissioned officers that the discipline and order of a company in a great measure depend, they cannot be too circumspect in their behavior towards the men, by treating them with mildness, and at the same time obliging everyone to do his duty. The sergeant was the backbone of the army, for it was under his charge that the duties and responsibilities of being a soldier were carried out. It was through the sergeants that von Steuben's discipline was learned. In teaching the recruits, they must exercise all their patience, by no means abusing them, but treating them with mildness, and not expect too much precision in the first lessons, punishing those only who are willfully negligent. Steuben's system of training the army was first instructing the model sergeants and then to have the officers learn the drill from watching the model company of sergeants. The manual and exercises created by Steuben was a system of accumulative abilities or building block stages starting with the recruits. First section. This is the musket and the bayonet. By 1779, the Continental Soldier was armed with the French Charleville musket and bayonet. Continental Army had received French muskets and bayonets, caliber 69. While others still received muskets modeled after the British shortland pattern, caliber 75. Both weapons would require a skilled foot soldier to stand or maneuver in compact formations to deliver concentrated volleys of musket balls, or a concentrated bayonet attack. The soldier was to be able to load and be ready to fire in 15 to 20 seconds 
or three to four shots per minute. The standard firing doctrine was by volleys, and officers would know that victory would depend on the rate of fire at close range for one to two minutes against the veteran Redcoats.